Ladies and gentlemen, this Cantway contest, a special return match from the bout at Brent Town Hall. It's over six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Introducing on my left in the red corner, from Manchester, the Mean Machine, the heavy middleweight champion, Rollerball Rocco. In the blue corner, Super Destroyer Pete Roberts. Super Destroyer Pete Roberts, there he is, dressed exactly as he was dressed when he got the name of Super Destroyer when he was out in Japan with the American tag teams. And he's got a weight advantage here this afternoon over Mark Rocco of Manchester, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain. There's his belt. It's a return bout. They met first at the Webley Town Hall a few months back. Away. Round one. Let's see if there's a result this time. Six rounds of five minutes each. Two falls to decide the bout. Referee Dave Reese. Pretty easily to identify these two. Rocco with the stars all over him and his name down the side. Dark hair and dark strip will show up from practically any other angle you can get, I should think. Rocco cannot stand in action. He simply cannot stand being held on the canvas like that. He's an all-action wrestler and he must be standing for his moves to really succeed. Good uh, wrestler's bridge there. Powerful neck muscles for that. Double-handed interlock. Started by Roberts, but Rocco seems to be getting back at him with it. He's got the wrist lever on now, double handed. Roberts rolls out in order to release the pressure on that wrist. Then Rocco gets him in the backhand. And he rolls out again nicely. Double wrist lock, Rocco. Still the double wrist lock is there. Great high hip throw, but the wrist lock is still on. Superbly, doesn't he, from Hull. It's, it's unlucky he hadn't got enough room there to continue the counter. Side headlock on Rocco. Side head chance reads the other side. Not loose side head chance read. Really forcing the head around towards him. And eventually the throw, but not releasing. The headlock is there, but the strangle isn't. protection on today of course Roberts with his usual pair side head chance for Roberts wins out of that but he doesn't hold it he tries to get a grapevine on misses that too still got the head arm in the back hammer is the only thing he'll get from this I think if he gets it that far lever at the moment Rocco 
Rock, he'll complain about that. I thought he would. Nice turn into a backhander. A minute to go in round one. Gosh, <laughs> Arm lock there. right over the top to get out of this he often uses the referee's shoulder if the ref comes near enough but he does it without this time nice nice uh, turn of the tables but it didn't last long out of the head scissors and Rocco already showing his tremendous agility as early as wrong against one of the fastest heavyweights in the game today shape of people no. <laughs> Just 12 seconds to go now. Well, Rocco, for some reason, uh, wants to get at Robert, so Robert stepped back immediately the bell went and must have noticed that, directly he heard the bell, he stepped right out of the hole and released his man immediately Rocco for some reason furious about it, I don't know why anyway, there's five to go yet second away, round two round two Roberts on the left there, the lighter strip he has almost a two stone weight advantage in this bout Pete Roberts 15-3 Rocco at 13-4 and Rocco not one to be frightened by any weight disadvantages he goes straight in just as hard as he always does well, as he does it fairly Vicious looking face bar there, which Roberts managed to grab the wrist from, get the finger into lock. In a position for the straight arm left. And pulled back by the hair. And the referee spotted it. And is trying to get them to break. He's trying to break Rocco for that hair pull. Got the hold unfairly, therefore a break is called for. There's the body check with Pete Roberts. I don't think he's wise to try it. Reaching for a full Nelson, but Roberts too quick for him. Cut there by Roberts. Oh, and it's Roberts going in with a hair pull this time. He's taken about enough from Rocco, he says. Let's have a go myself. Roberts losing one of his elbow protectors. And Rocco sliding them. Roberts along with probably with his eye near the rope if he can yes it was oh this is going to be a tough part this one into the hand Rocco up quickly not not quite so quickly this time so if you're ready for a double chop you'll get it yes the single finger interlock agreed to by both men and it's a double wrist lock back in a position to Rocco but he's just not tall enough to make it stand I don't think so it'll be a ropes break again if the referee can get him to break for Nelson Rocco the butt caught him and the knee caught him too uh, 
Pete Roberts, most unlike Pete Roberts this grabbing the hair final reminder I think by the referee <laughs> throw by Roberts from that wrist lever into the head scissors the figure four head scissors with the right instep behind the left calf just one minute to go round two and Roberts really determined to hold this head scissors on that figure four position very tricky to break of course if he shows a sign of breaking it Roberts will come down and lay it on him harder but Rocco I think using his teeth there yes he was using his teeth there that's why Roberts released the referee not absolutely certain of it but pretty suspicious because he couldn't really see that properly but it looked awfully like Rocco using his teeth to get out of that hole. Ten seconds. And the bell goes on a beautiful posting to uh, Pete Roberts, but Rocco came back after the bell as he's not able to do and he's still beefing ah, well, Pete Roberts sweating much more profusely than his opponent in fact although he's got a two stone weight advantage almost but I think he's come out of the situation all right Take it away, round three round three Four rounds to go, and still no score in this uh, catchweight contest. Rocco versus Roberts. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no referee, no. no, no. Rocco with the back hammer now on Roberts. No. Face down on the canvas. No. No. Reaching for the opposite arm. No. Holding the back hammer on with his right no. knee. Forcing his man over back to canvas if he can. Oh. And at least he's in a position to pen him. Oh. Yes, there he is. Can't see him holding Roberts down that easy. Not as early as round three. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yes, well, well, he's really asking for it, doing that in front of the ref. Right in front of the referee. He came across and, I, and the follow-up just a little bit too strong and too late. I'm very surprised that didn't get him a public warning. I'm sure there's one coming in a second. If he doesn't release his man, and he's got it. Asked for it. The referee gives Rocco his first public warning. And a headbutt to the head with his man lying on the canvas. And I don't think Dave Reese is going to allow too much of that. Whether that was a punch or not, hard to see, but the referee very suspicious of it. We were all blindsided of him. Oh, 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 oh. That was the heat of the hand by Roberts, but it certainly wasn't by Rocco. It's, but it's still Roberts using the hair too much. Very unusual for him, this. the referee is saying six or one half a dozen the other but uh, <laughs> nicely in for a side head chance and just as he got it Roberts came in with that thing beautiful time now well, I thought this might develop into a a real all-action wrestling bout, but uh, I'm afraid he's even going to develop beyond the wrestling in a minute. Nicely, headlock and 
stranglehold to Roberts. Roberts from uh, Chatham now. He resides in Chatham, formerly of uh, Birmingham. A couple of minutes to go, round three. Still not much sign of any scoring. One public warning against Rockhold. And Roberts a bit lucky to get away without one on a couple of occasions too. Well, that's all after the move is finished and after the break. Nice leg grab by Rocco. It was quick on that one. <laughs> and that's the way to get rid of a leg grab. One minute to go, and Mark Rocco gets back in the ring very stylishly and continues hard all action stuff against the heavier man which you've got to hand it to him for oh well that's reaching too late for that one half a minute to go now walk over the side headlock and across buttock Well, just 10 seconds to go. And I think the bell will save Roberts having to worry too much about this one. In fact, Rocco was very nearly out of trouble without the help of the bell then. So, Pete Roberts turned to walk around, get back in the ring again a little breather outside the ropes halfway through the bout still no score one public warning against his opponent but Pete Roberts clear of them so far there is Mark Rocco the by now. Let's go. Round, four. round four three to go no score and Mark Rocco complaining to the referee as always about something or other Mark Rocco, who learnt his wrestling from his own father, of course, I'm sure the older grappling fans will remember. The very famous heavyweight, Mr. 5x5, five five, Jim Hussey. Well, that's Mark Rocco's father, who's now running a pub in the Manchester area. Oh, beautiful body check off the ropes. And another one, but this time Rocco, Rocco saw it coming, and the follow-up. A little bit late, but uh, the referee had to go with a quiet warning. Great posting by Rocco. 16 stone almost is 15 and a half. It's running around there. Very good. Oh, where did that land? Just above the knee on the left. Thigh there. Enough to worry Roberts. And he thinks he's going to weaken him enough to go in for a slam, but a slam on the top rope. going in with a body slam and this time and he still doesn't follow it down he's going up for the top rope to get some height and the cross press is from a height but it doesn't do him much good he landed too low down for which he gets a public warning anyway is Mark Rocco, his second and final public warning far too late after the move had been completed and it released he tried another attack and Rocco doing well at the moment Roberts a little bit of trouble at this particular time. Going in for a single leg, Boston now, Rocco. Yes, yes. Two no's and the third one, a yes. 
just over two minutes, two minutes, 15 seconds into round four. And it's the first submission to Mark Rockhold. Ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes, 15 seconds, Mark Rockhold with a single leg Boston grab. The opening submission goes to Rollerball Rockhold. Yes, and a good one it was too. When See, when he does go, use his speed and agility legally, he does extremely well with pure wrestling. I don't know why he doesn't keep to it. Pete Roberts has got to go because there's the bell to start round five for the last two rounds. He's won submission battle and he's trailing. And Rocco doing extremely well, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain against a heavyweight, Pete Roberts. Roberts, who's probably the, the most traveled, one of the most traveled heavyweights in the country. He's been a, takes a flyer outside the ring, he's doing some more traveling. He's been to Japan twice recently in Korea. And I think Rocco's just about had his time if he continues that sort of treatment. Two public warnings against him already, even though he's leading by that one submission. He's going to ruin his chances. And I'm sure that Pete Roberts won't want to win this on a disqualification. I should think Rocco's very near it if he doesn't behave himself now. Yes, roll the ball. This time Roberts waits for him. Gets the half Nelson. Get the, hit the hair and slams the head down. Roberts has had enough, he's taking enough of this man, he's dishing out some now. Leg grab by Rocker to settle things down if he can, slow it up a bit, just as Roberts is getting on top. And he's got the Roberts uh, left leg locked in there, pretty handy. Roberts from that angle can't really get a forearm in. That's quite illegal, that drop bottom rope. The referee trying to stop him and Rocco comes out of the ring, almost lands on the bell. But he manages to hold onto the top rope and save himself then. And probably save the timekeeper along with him. Pouring with sweat, Roberts now in trouble. He's trailing by that one submission to nothing. His left leg is worrying him, obviously. Rocco knows it. He'll go straight for it if he can. Yes, going down to the left leg immediately. But more illegal use of the ropes. And the crowd screaming at the referee to send Rocco packing. But there's a couple of minutes to go in this fifth round, the penult penultimate round. Even Rocco's slowing down now a little bit. Oh yes, the pull-on body check. Robert's good at that. Now the lift all over the top. And the drop. And it just depends how he landed, Rocco. But Ro Roberts goes over the top and completes the cross press. And very nearly the equalizing fall. Well, the second one surely is quite unnecessary. And if he follows it up with another, Dave Reese is liable to send him packing. And Roberts caught him. And trying the cross press again. No. Rocco's hand goes out, clutches the bottom rope. Just a minute to go now. And both men through the rope, so it's got to be a break. <laughs> Rocco does take a few risks, doesn't he? Two public warnings against him, and he still can't resist the illegal use of the ropes and all kinds of rule bending. He is giving away a, 
the top of stone of course nearly and uh, you seem to think it's worth it I suppose grapevine now to Rocco near arm lever Rocco in command at the moment with eight seconds to go. Now it's too late. Now it's too late to go in on that one. He cannot resist it, can he? Why is it that Mark Rocco cannot resist that move after the break? Whether it's been a break, an ordered break from ropes, or whether he's just released the hold that he had and he's left his man on the deck. He cannot resist following it up just once more. He's got him two public warnings already, and it's liable to get him the third, which means disqualification if he continues it. One round to go, round six, and still Rocco leading. Seconds away, six and final round. Now, can Roberts come back in this and make it a draw? It's too late for him to win unless he does a knockout uh, job on Rocco, which is going to be tricky, because he can take any punishment, this man. And this man's on the ropes now, surely. Nicely dodged out of the way there, Roberts. Well, it's difficult to see who's doing what to whom there. <laughs> and he's out. Landing on the apron with his back. Such a tough fellow, though. He won't worry very much about that. Doesn't re-enter the ring quite so stylishly as usual, though. Oh, that really caught him in that forearm. And Rocco still leading by that one submission. With, although two public warnings against him. Can he get the one more to, to make this a win for him? And he went down and landed wrongly for him. Completely wrongly. So it wasn't worth it. And it's Roberts now, surely. He's got a chance with that weakened left arm. The hand, I think, or well, the arm anyway, and Roberts noticed it. And the reverse posting. Roberts just turned his man on, on the way to the posting. Oh, a fire. Beautiful backdrop by Roberts. The punishment this man Rocco takes. And he still follows it up with a cross press. And it's part of the same move, according to the referee. Yes, he's allowed it. And Roberts, Pete Roberts, in two minutes, five seconds, gets the equalizing fall to make it a draw with just under three minutes to go in the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes, five seconds of the sixth and final round, the equalizing fall to Super Destroyer, Pete Roberts. <laughs> Result of this contest, each man having one fall, the result, a draw. Thank you, George Mitchell. And with that draw in the final round, going almost the distance, a draw then, Pete Roberts just making the equaliser in the last round. It's goodbye from all of us here at Solihull. Have a good time. Till next time.